Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is about impetigo and I will discuss the causes, types, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment and complications. Now what is impetigo? It is a superficial cutaneous infection which is common in children during warm weather. Impetigo most frequently occurs on the face, around the nares and the mouth and on the extremities. The lesions spread readily and diffusely. Local lymph nodes may become swollen and inflamed. Although the affected child often lacks systemic symptoms, but occasionally a high fever and toxicity are present. Now there are two types of impetigo. First is bullous and the second is non-bullous impetigo. Now the cause of impetigo. It is Staphylococcus aureus in 80% cases and Streptococcus pyogenes in 20% cases. Characteristics of the non-bullous or crusted impetigo. It is caused most often by Staphylococcus aureus and occasionally by group A Streptococcus. It begins as a single erythematous papulo vesicle that progresses to one or many honey-colored crusted lesion, weeping serous drainage. Second is the bullous impetigo. It accounts for approximately 10% of all the impetigos. These skin lesions are thin-walled, transparent flaccid bully with erythematous margins resembling second-degree burns. Bullous impetigo is associated with epidermolytic toxin-producing strain of Staphylococcus aureus. Now, five important predisposing lesions of impetigo. These include chicken pox, insect bites, abrasion, lacerations, and burns. Now, the diagnosis of impetigo is usually made by the clinical appearance alone. Now, the recommended treatment for non-bullous impetigo is topical 2% mopirocin or oral anti-staphylococcal antibiotics. Application of cool compresses to deep right crust is a helpful symptomatic measure. Extensive or disseminated lesions, bullous impetigo, lesions around the eyes or lesions otherwise not amenable to topical therapy are best treated with Oral antibiotics like penicillin, cephalosporins, clindamycin or amoxicillin clavulinate for 7 to 10 days. Now there are 5 important potential complications of impetigo. These include cellulitis, osteomyelitis, septic arthritis, pneumonia and bacteremia. Now, streptococcal impetigo is associated with increased risk of post-infectious glomerulonephritis, but not acute rheumatic fever. Antibiotic treatment does not decrease the risk of this post-infectious glomerulonephritis, but it does decrease the possible spread of nephritogenic strains to the close contacts. An important advice to parents. Children with impetigo should remain out of school or daycare until 24 hours of antibiotic therapy have been completed. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative health videos.